Hi, I'm the Scrub, and you're here for one reason. Listen up, Koopo. Although cute and fuzzy on the outside, these furry little critters have a knack for getting underneath your skin and shoving their palm where it doesn't belong. Time to teach them a lesson, Koopo. Fun fact, back in the day, this trial wasn't even a thing. It was originally supposed to be a different trial. Spoilers for later. But it was pushed back in the wake of the 2011 tsunami and it has also gotten a revamp since being changed in patch 6.2. Though for now, it's time to do battle with good King Mogglemog. May his reach be as wide as his stomach is fat. So let's grab this can of Mortine and get rid of these pests, Koopo. Time to learn about Thorn much hard. Simplify. You will face the smaller moogles before you face the king. All of these smaller moogles don't have a lot of health, but they do have mechanics. First up is the gladiator moogle, who has the move spinning mog shield, which is a small AoE beneath it. After it is defeated, the marauder and archer moogles will come down. Marauder will have a big conal AoE points at one player called 1000 coupons of swipe. And while that is happening, the archer will create AoEs around every player called mog rain of death, which will need to be spread out to avoid being overlapped. After those two are defeated, the conjurer and bard come down. Yeah, the archer and the bard are separate, don't ask. Conjurer can cast palm holy, which is a room wide AoE, and it can also also cast Palm Cure, which can heal the Moogle it casts on for a small amount of HP, whilst the Bard will have a large 120 degree conal AoE in front of it called Moggle Day Night Fever. When those two Moogles are defeated, the Thermoturge and Rogue will come down. Thermoturge will cast Palm Meteor. This will create four red circular auras with a blue outline. At least one person must be standing in these when the Meteors hit the ground to soak the damage of that Meteor. You can tell you're standing in it by the blue aura being brighter than when you were standing out of it. If one circle is left unsoaked, it can be a high damaging raid wide AoE instead. The Rogue has a move called Moogle Thrust, which is a Tank Buster, so tanks, be aware that you might need to pop cooldowns for this. After you defeat those two Moogles, there'll be a short transition to welcome the boss, Good King Mogamog. The King will cast Memento Moogle, which is a room wide AoE, and the smaller Moogles will disappear. The King will then move to the north of the arena and cast Good King's Decree, which brings smaller Moogles back, but they are untargetable as they will do mechanics based on who comes down. First up is the Rogue and the Archer. The Rogue will leave a poison puddle in the middle of the arena, which if you run through it gives a 15 second poison damage over time debuff that cannot be as soon as, and the Archer will create a stack marker on a random player. It is best for everyone to keep it within melee range of the king so everyone can stack up properly. Then, as the stack marker goes off, everyone will get a small AoE around them so everyone will have to spread out while avoiding the poison puddle. The king will then cast Palm Holy, which is just a room wide AoE. The king will then again move to the north of the arena and cast Good King's Decree again. This time, bringing down the Bard, Gladiator, and Marauder. The tanks and the king each have their own large circular AoE beneath them. You can see that these circles overlap, so to avoid this mechanic, you gotta stand in the circle AoE that spawns last and then move into the circle that goes off first. As the final circle goes off, the Bard will target someone with their 120 20 degree conal AoE. Just keep moving back towards the center of the arena to dodge the mechanic. The king will then cast Twin Palm Meteor, which is a different looking red colored stack marker. This is a tank buster stack, so only tanks should stand in this marker. Now tanks can take this solo, but you'll need good gear and mitigation or invulnerability in order to survive it. The king will cast his room wide Palm Holy again, and will then move to the north of the arena and cast Good King's Decree again. The final pair of Moogles being a Thermoturge and a Conjurer. The Thermoturge will cast Palm Meteor, which is the same as before with the four red auras, but this time some players will get an AoE tracking them for three small AoEs. If you have everyone standing on the outside, the players with the AoE tracking markers can move around the outside of the arena whilst the people who don't have the markers can move forward and stand in the meteors. The Conjurer will cast Mogstone 3, which are several size circular AoEs from the middle of the arena. Just stand outside the first central AoE until that inside AoE goes off and then move into it to solve the mechanic. After this happens, there'll be a stack marker followed by the King casting a straight line AoE at a random player, then a Tank Buster and several room wide AoEs. Mechanics will repeat from here until the king has been defeated. Remember to keep DPSing and use the limit break, and congratulations Koopo, you have beaten King Mogulmog. May his soul be flung to the furthest reaches of space. My name is The Scrub, thank you for watching.